welcome friends my name is kamdar niraj my project is based on application of calculus in rocket science table of contents one introduction central question how much fuel does the rocket require to reach desired velocity this can be solved using calculus a formal statement of problem suppose we have m mass of rocket with m not mass of fuel as the fuel burns it produces an equal mass of gas which shoots out of the back of the rocket and it accelerates the rocket so what will be the final velocity of rocket once all the fuel is used up or how much fuel does the rocket require to reach desired velocity table of contents an analytical solution an analytical solution consider that a small amount of fuel of mass dm is burnt the gas produced by the burning shoots out of the back of the rocket at velocity u the momentum of the gas is given by its mass dm times its velocity u so change in momentum of gas when it is expelled out dpg is equal to u dm the thrust from the gas causes it to accelerate increasing its velocity by an amount dv the total mass of the rocket including the fuel that still remain in the tank is capital m plus m so change in momentum of rocket dpr is equal to m plus m dv by the law of conservation of linear momentum we get u dm is equal to m plus m dv and therefore dv is equal to u dm m plus m let initial velocity of rocket vi is equal to 0 and when mass of fuel of rocket become mf then velocity of rocket is v is equal to vf now integrating equation 4 integration of dv 0 to vf is equal to integration of u dm upon m plus m m not to mf and therefore vf is equal to u ln m plus m not by m plus mf applications and references applications astronomers use equation 6 to determine final velocity of rocket Now rearranging equation 6 mf is equal to capital m minus capital m plus m not e raised to vf by u Astronomers use this equation 7 to calculate how much fuel the rocket required to reach desired velocity References Rocket principles and wikipedia on variable mass system thank you